Whoa, Reno is exploding. Yeah, it actually is. There's a ton of people moving here. In this video, we're gonna talk about all the great places that you should consider living here in Reno. We're gonna talk about USA Parkway. Where the heck is it? How far away is it? We're all the things that you need to know about the area here in Reno, Nevada. Hey, Logan Allen Williamson here, representing Williamson Professional Real Estate Sales. Hey, thanks for stopping by. If you wanna know all the information that you're gonna need about working in Reno, living in Reno, eating, sleeping, playing, raising a family, overall, just what the heck the vibe is up here in Reno, Nevada, this is the channel for you. I really appreciate you stopping by and being a fan of the channel. If you like this content and this information, please make sure you, that you click that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell. It's gonna update you and get you uh, contacted and notified every time I put out new content, which is weekly here on this channel, and basically just keep you in the loop with what the heck's going on. Now, if you are considering relocating up to Reno, or if you're considering a move inside of Reno, you've got to get in touch with me. I've got people contacting me from all over who are relocating here, and I absolutely love it. Now, you can send me a carrier pigeon, but preferably, go ahead and give me a call. Shoot me a text, send me an email. All my information is gonna be here, and I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you out when it comes to the topic of moving or relocating here to Reno. Okay, now if you've started to take a look at the Reno area, if you've started to poke around at maps, if you've started to read some blogs, or even started watching videos just like this, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of tips and tricks when it comes to the best neighborhoods, the worst neighborhoods, and basically commute times, where the heck do you wanna be if you come up here? Well, I'm gonna tell you. And in this particular video, I'm gonna walk you through the greater Reno area. I'm gonna show you what the highways are doing. I'm gonna show you generally where some things are located. And in future videos, we're certainly gonna dive into neighborhoods a little bit closer, look at some restaurants, look at some different things around the community in more depth. In this, we're gonna do a general overview of the area. So to do that, let's go ahead and let's hop into my computer. All right, well, now that we are in the computer, Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Reno area here. You can see me, you can probably see my wonderful green screen in the background, forgive me there. But let's take a look at things here. Now, if you've already started to poke around or if you're relatively familiar with the Reno area, this may be um, information that you already know. But if you are brand new to Reno, let's go ahead and take a look here. So you can see that to get to Reno, basically you're looking at I-80, which is gonna run all the way down into the Sacramento area from Sacramento up into where you start to hit this particular area um, in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Um, that's gonna take you usually about 35 minutes or so. And then once you hit that, you have almost exactly an hour and a half up until you get to um, Verdi, which is the first part of Reno right there. So about an hour and a half through the mountains. And when it's snowy and different things, Donner Pass sometimes shuts down, but Usually, um, as long as you have chains or certainly if you have four-wheel drive or snow tires, you're good to go. So if we get a little bit closer in here, as I mentioned, you're going to have um, a few different areas inside of Reno. And more specifically, you're going to have where everybody is really going in Reno, what a lot of people are interested in Reno. So what I'm going to show you here is a couple general locations. So the first is going to be Pyramid Lake. And my grandparents actually have a home all the way out in what's called Palomino Valley out here by Pyramid Lake. Pyramid Lake to Reno is anywhere between about 35 to 45 minutes with traffic. It can be a little bit longer than that. But when you're talking about Pyramid Lake out in this area, you are looking at a lot of what looks like desert with a lot of rolling hills. Um, not even rolling hills. Basically, these are mountains and it's absolutely beautiful out there. There's a lot of sagebrush. Um, but the color palette is absolutely wonderful. Pyramid Lake is a really cool place. It turns over um, during the year. And when it turns over, you want to be nowhere near it. Very muddy, very murky, very gross. Um, but Pyramid Lake is probably an area where if you're just moving to Reno, depending upon how old your kids are and things, whether or not they're in high school, you may not want to consider that area. Um, but Pyramid Lake is really cool. Um, if you ever get a chance, you're going to want to drive out there and just check things out. On the way into town from Pyramid Lake, you're going to drive through Spanish Springs, um, which is a pretty cool high school, um, high school community out there. You're going to go through Disc Drive, which is a whole new development. I mean, in the past 10 years, it's almost unrecognizable out there. Um, the intersection that is right here at Pyramid Lake Highway in McCarran has been completely opened up now. The infrastructure has improved drastically. So a lot of this traffic now that is going out to Spanish Springs 
Um, it's really not as bad as it used to be, but that's the Pyramid Lake area up in North Reno. Um, you're going to have the Lemon Valley, the Sun Valley areas. A lot of those are going to be areas that are going to basically be in um, uh, the Washoe County School District, but they're going to have access to North Valley's high schools, which is up north. Now, <clears throat> on the west side of town, you are going to have Northwest Reno. You have McQueen High School up here. You're going to get into the Verdi area. Um, the further out west you go, and Verdi is out where Boomtown is at the casino, and that's the last area that you're going to hit before you actually start driving outside of town, about 25 minutes up to the Boca Reservoir, and then into Truckee um, with Lake Tahoe access um, from Truckee. Truckee takes about 35 minutes to get to from Truckee to Lake Tahoe. It's about another 30 minutes. Now, you can also access Lake Tahoe um, from a couple different areas. The first is if you go south through town, you can go up Mount Rose Highway, which will take you into Incline Village on the Nevada side of Lake Tahoe to get up to Mount Rose Ski Resort or to get up to the Incline Village North Shore area from Reno. That's going to take you usually about 45 minutes or less, depending upon if you drive like a wild man. Um, or you can go all the way down south through Carson City. You can go up Guy Grade, and basically that is going to take you um, in what looks like it's the east part of the lake. But it, what you're probably going to end up doing is taking a left there, which is going to take you down to State Line, down to the south side of the lake, to get all the way down next to Heidi's Pancake House down here. That from Reno is going to take you just about an hour and 15 minutes, up to about an hour and 45 minutes if there's a lot of traffic. Now, if you are considering working in the Minden Gardnerville area, this is about um, 15 to 25 minutes south of Carson City. Carson City here, which is actually the capital of Nevada, is going to be, as of right now, as we're sitting here, January 2020, about 40 minutes or less from Reno, which is absolutely remarkable because there was a time when that used to be up close to an hour and a half. And the reason for that is the infrastructure out here on 395 Highway. This has been completely rebuilt over the course of the past few years, and it is absolutely incredible. I've got a family member that works out in Carson City, and his commute over from this area in Sparks is just about 25 to 30 minutes. So it's absolutely incredible. Um, now, as far as Reno is concerned, you have Reno Sparks, and basically what you're looking at is 395, the highway that runs north and south, is this highway here. The highway that runs east and west is I-80. Now, on 395, north and south, that's going to almost bisect the greater Reno area into Reno and Sparks. Now, I have family members that grew up in Sparks. Sparks is a very different vibe, in my opinion, than Reno, or the housing price is similar are there casinos over there? Are there cool things to do like the Sparks Marina? Are there some cool properties around the Sparks Marina? Are there shopping malls? Are there trails? Is the Truckee River accessible? Absolutely. But for me, I'm a little bit biased because I do actually like the Reno area over Sparks. I prefer it. I just think the vibe is better. <clears throat> I think there's cooler stuff to do. I think the views of the Sierra Nevadas and Lake Tahoe, the Lake Tahoe um, mountain range up there, I, I just think it's, I just think it's better on the Reno side. But what I do want you to note is that USA Parkway and Tesla is actually out here. And that's about 30 to maybe 35 minutes east of town. And what we can do here is if we go into this tab, I just wanted to show you, I have this marked from the Silver Legacy in downtown Reno, which is one of the casinos right in downtown. It's the big green one, if you're familiar with it. Um, that's going to take you about 30 minutes with no traffic out to what I put in as Tesla, uh, the Tesla Gigafactory. And USA Parkway, if you didn't know, um, they say that you can see it from space. It is the largest industrial parkway um, in the United States. So it's it's pretty major out there. If that's one of the reasons why you're considering relocating up to Reno, then you're obviously pretty familiar with USA Parkway. Um, <clears throat> okay, so to get back into the greater Reno area, we'll do some more deep dives into Lake Tahoe. Um Carson City, Minden, Gardnerville, uh, the Verdi area, some of the different neighborhoods. I personally grew up all the way up here in Northwest Reno, went to high school um, up at McQueen High School. And <clears throat> basically, I grew up right about here in this area off of 
um, 7th Street. So to give you an idea, West 7th Street is going to run all the way up to the high school, which is in this area. But then West 7th Street is also going to run down where you can catch basically Keystone Avenue, um, go underneath the freeway, and then connect directly to downtown here. One of the cool things that you're going to notice about Reno is that the freeways are very accessible no matter where you are in the area. And the freeways are very efficient. Basically, everybody travels on the freeway here. One of the cool things about Reno is that you can get anywhere, literally anywhere, and certainly under 30 minutes inside of the greater Reno area, all the way out to the parkway. Um, but what you're going to note is that inside of Reno, if you're just buzzing down to the south end of town or down to the Pepper Mill or a Casino or something like that, it's literally going to take you less than 15 minutes in a lot of places that you can go. And sometimes that's even in peak traffic times. Now, <clears throat> I-80 and 395, um, they're calling that 580, but we've always called that 395 South. Um, basically, you have improved infrastructure right here. You've got the spaghetti bowl and you get backed up traffic sometimes here, um, but usually traffic is never very bad in the area. One thing you will notice about the highways up here is they call them, um, gosh, I forget exactly what they call them, um, but basically you have the exit and the entrance ramps where you are merging and it's the same lane for the people coming onto the freeway and the people getting off of the freeway. So that causes a little bit of chaos when people don't basically um, know what the heck they're doing when it comes to driving. So what you'll find is that, you know, people are called California drivers when they drive too fast. A lot of Nevadans are hesitant with the gas pedal and things like that. But, you know, if you just take your time, you get where you're going and everything, you can basically reach pretty quickly up in the Reno area. Um, you've got... Reno Tahoe International Airport, right down here. Um, McCarran, what you'll notice is this highway that basically goes all the way around the Reno area. <clears throat> McCarran is a loop. And if you were going to do that in a car with no traffic, that would take you anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour to do. If there's a ton of traffic, it's probably gonna take you right about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, depending upon you know how much traffic and what time of day it is. Um, you have old, Virginia Street, which is, uh, don't quote me on this, but one of the oldest streets in Reno. And Virginia Street is going to run all the way from the freeway down here, down by the Summit Mall, um, Summit Sierra Mall, which is way down here, <clears throat> but all the way up through to the downtown Reno area. And you've got different casinos, you've got the Pepper Mill, you've got all of these casinos, or the Pepper Mill and the Atlantis, which are going to be down here on the south side of town. And then if you go up into the downtown area, that's where you've got Circus Circus, El Dorado, Silver Legacy, Harrah's. You've got the Reno Aces Ballpark, which is going to be right down in the downtown area. Um, you can see the Truckee River right here. And this is where your condos are going to be downtown. You've got the movie theater, um, Idlewild Park, and we'll go into the park in some more detail. But basically, you've got golf courses all throughout Reno. Um, <clears throat> you have accessibility all the way throughout and we'll really dive into some of these neighborhoods and what they look like. Um, there's newer neighborhoods, which you're going to see a lot of the newer stuff down on the South side of town, even a little bit further outside of McCarran down in through here. You're going to see a lot of the luxury homes out in the Montreux, um, <clears throat> area over and through here. You can see that this is a big golf course here and a lot of your luxury homes are going to be located in this area. Um, but a lot of your single family residents, I mean, you just really, it, it, Reno's got a lot of great neighborhoods. Um, if there were a couple areas to stay away from in Reno, I mean, I mentioned that I don't like Sparks, but as far as crime and different things along those lines, I mean, you will note that there are a couple areas in the downtown area just south of the University of Nevada, Reno. Um, where they had a lot of old motels and a lot of drug problems and things down running through the Circus Circus and whatnot right in this area here. And, you know, everything is actually being improved. There was a problem with some of the new university housing. A lot of the students were displaced into the Circus Circus now. And there have actually been a lot of those old motels and different things that are being now torn out um, to put in new housing. And the development down there has actually weeded out a lot of bad apples. And it has actually made the area, um, to my knowledge and in my opinion, a little bit safer. So anyway, 
Um, if you have any questions or anything, just jump down in the comments and ask me about a specific neighborhood or a specific area, and I'd be happy to answer any of those questions you have. But at least from a high level, um, I hope this gives you some sort of an understanding as to kind of what this area looks like and a couple areas that you may want to target if you're considering a move up here. All right. Hey, I hope that gave you some insight on the Reno area. I hope that provided some value for you um, in terms of what the heck this area looks like and where you may want to consider um, your next home purchase or where you want to live up here. It's a great place overall, and I hope that at least helps you out a little bit. Now, if you're new to this channel and you enjoy this content, please give us a thumbs up. It helps us reach more people. Please make sure you click that subscribe button and go ahead and click that little notification bell so you get updates every week when we come out with new videos. If you want to open a conversation with us. I'd love the opportunity to chat with you about your move and what's gonna make the most sense for your relocation and where the heck you wanna live. How's it gonna fit your lifestyle the best up here? What neighborhoods do you wanna be a part of? Please either send me that carrier pigeon and if you would uh, prefer to do so, uh, please go ahead and call me, email me, text me. All my information is gonna be here and accessible and I look forward to the opportunity to chat with you soon. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.